Accounting 2, Chapter 4, Cost Volume Profit Analysis, CVP. In this chapter, we are going to learn 4.1, Definition and the Importance of CVP Analysis, 4.2, Assumption in CVP Analysis, 4.3, CVP Analysis Method, 4.4 margin of safety and 4.5 sensitivity analysis in this video we are going to focus on the theory part of CVP analysis the first part of this video we are going to focus on the definitions and the importance of CVP analysis and the assumptions in CVP analysis. Cost-volume-profit analysis is the study of the effects of changes in cost and volume on a company's profit. It is a planning process that management uses to predict the future volume of activity, the cost incurred, the sales made, and the profit received. The importance of CVP analysis CVP analysis is to determine the level of sales at break-even point, to determine the level of sales to achieve profit target, setting selling price of the product in order to achieve profit target, making decisions regarding fixed costs and marketing strategies, making a forecast of the profit that could be achieved when there is a change in the CVP analysis elements, such as changes in fixed costs, variable costs, price, and sales units. Assumptions in CVP analysis In performing CVP analysis, there are several assumptions were made. 1. All units produced are sold. 2. Cost behavior can be classified accurately as either variable or fixed. 3. Cost and revenues are linear. 4. Sales price per unit is constant. Number 5. Variable cost per unit is constant. 6. Total fixed costs are constant. And 7. Changes in activity known as X are the only factors that affect cost. Definition of important terms in CVP analysis Definition of break-even point BEP Break-even point can be defined as the level of operations at which a business revenue and total cost are exactly equal and business will experience a zero net profit or no profit nor loss situation. BEP can be represented in unit or in ringgit lisa. The smaller the BEP, the better it is, means BEP can be achieved in shorter times thus can generate profit in shorter time too. At BEP, the total revenue is equal to total cost and the fixed cost is equal to contribution margin. These facts can be proven while performing CVP 
analysis. Definition of contribution margin. Contribution margin, CM, is the amount of revenue remaining after deducting variable cost. It is often stated both as a total amount and on a per unit basis. It is a measure of the ab ability of a company to cover variable costs with revenue. The amount left over, the contribution, covers fixed costs and the profit. The bigger the contribution margin, the better it is. Contribution margin is equal to total sales deduct total variable cost. And contribution margin per unit is equal to price per unit deduct a variable cost per unit. For Q&A section. Number 1. Define cost volume profit analysis. CVP analysis is a systematic method of examining the relationship between changes in volume and changes in total sales revenue. Expenses and net profit for planning and decision making purpose. Number two, what are the uses of cost volume profit analysis? Cost volume profit analysis is used to determine how changes in cost and volume affect a company's operating income and net income. Number three, state three components involved in cost volume profit analysis. It can be either volume or level of activity, unit selling price, variable cost per unit, or total fixed cost.